What is up everyone and welcome to a bonus Friday video. Before I say anything, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for being so patient and so supportive this week. Um, I'm actually filming this earlier in the week, I'm not filming this on Friday, so I have no updates to how the uh, week has gone, but I've got a really good feeling about this week, I think I'm going to catch up really well and it's really going to help me out, so I'll talk to you more about it next week and whatnot, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook to get all the updates, blah blah blah, but today I thought the least I could do is give you a bonus video because it's no extra skin off my nose and it is, uh, it's, the, it's the least I can do because of how supportive you guys have been, so I do really, really appreciate appreciate it. But moving on to the point of filming this video, I have yet another parcel, another donation. This one is from my great friend Christian in Germany. Um, it turns out that Christian and I speak pretty much every day now. We are great buddies. Um, we get on very well. Hopefully we'll collab in the future. I'll meet up with him at some point. Um, you know, it's probably years down the line because of course he's in Germany and uh, traveling costs and you've got to find time and blah 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 but you know he's a great guy and I do hope to meet up with him one day um, and I hope also to be able to return these favours because he constantly sends me stuff and it is so kind of him and I cannot do anything close to returning the favour at the moment um, but anyway Christian's a great guy he sent me another package I do know one of the items that is very exciting and it will potentially improve my vlogs quite a lot if everything works out well um, so sit back relax and enjoy this awesome donation so naturally let's rip straight into the box I'm very excited to rip in. I think this way is the key way to open it. Come on. As always, great packaging from Christian. I trust his packaging very well. I know he takes a lot of uh, pride and puts time and effort into packaging. So, first things first, we have a note. It says Tom on the front, so it's definitely for me. Here we go. I shall read this aloud on camera. Hey Tom, the little donation should make filming your vlogs a bit easier. I hope you get a lot of use out of the camera itself and the SD cards I've included. So there is a big clue there guys. Not only did Christian donate this camera, he's also donating it yet another camera. Tell me how my new eco-friendly packaging worked out. It was my first time not using any bubble wrap or plastic. Well, other than industrial strength tape. <laughs> Big smiley face. As always, I hope nothing broke during shipping. It should be fine, but you never know, especially when trying out a new way of packing stuff. Would be a big shame if anything would get soaked with beer. Yes, there's some beer in here as well. Total score. Anyway, dude, hope everything works out great for you. Shoot me a message when the package arrives. Your friend, Christian. So guys, as always, a lovely note from Christian, and like I said in the last donation video, I do keep all of my notes that I get from donations because I think it'll be lovely to look back on later on in life. So bear with me a second, I'm going to get a new fresh angle so that you can definitely see right into the box. Alright guys, let's take a look. Eco-friendly packaging is of course pretty awesome. It's pretty similar to what Amazon are doing, so uh, Christian is definitely right on it there. Let's move some of this out of the way. Very similar to Amazon, actually. Okay, let's take a look, guys. So, first off, we have... Okay, wow. Okay, guys, this is exciting. This is exciting stuff. This is great. I don't know what to dig into first. Let's take a look at these then. We have two brand new 32 gigabyte SD cards and more specifically they are micro SD cards. I'm not sure if you guys know but I do go through a lot of SD cards. Um, at any one given time to film my five videos a week I use around three or four SD cards and I'm still pretty pushed to organization so these will make life a lot easier. These will now be dedicated to vlogs and of course just because they're micro SD um, doesn't mean I can't use them as standard SD cards because they come with these adapters. So Christian, massive thank you buddy another 64 gigabytes for uh, for vlogging. That means that total Christian has donated 128 gigabytes of SD card storage, not including the SD card that he included with my tablet, so that is absolutely awesome. Um, more eco-friendly packaging. We have some beer. Let's take a look at the beer, guys. Let's move this box out of the way. Let's take a look at this. 
before we get into the camera and take a look at the camera stuff. Now, as you guys can see, the um, packaging has worked out really well. Nothing has broken. So there we have it guys, some more lovely German beer from Christian. I am actually a massive fan of the beer that he sends. I still have a lot of bottles left from last time just because I've been saving them for a live stream. Um, but it is very, very tempting to drink them all the time. So what's cool because I've received more now is I can maybe drink some of those older ones or drink these ones. Uh, maybe today or tomorrow or something like pretty really soon to be perfectly honest. It's my week off. Why not? And um, and then drink uh, the, re the remainder in a live stream. But guys, it's really, really nice getting beer from Christian. You absolute legend, dude. I really do look forward to trying all of these beers. Um, it's absolutely great. I loved every single of the first beer I received that I tried out with James in the stream. I absolutely loved every single one. I know there was one that James didn't particularly like, and I did have a favorite. I just wish I could remember what it was, but I can always look back on the stream. Um, but yeah, four bottles of German beer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide them behind my test monitor now to keep safe while I am unboxing the camera. So let's keep those back there. And let's keep these SD cards back there as well in the frame because they are definitely part of the donation, of course. So let's get the box back into the frame and see what we've got. This is certainly very exciting. So in here, guys, we have two packages. We have this and we have this, which is awesome. Now, this is really heavy. I don't know what's creating all of the weight in here, but we will soon find out. So guys, this is a very small form factor, sort of a little bit like a GoPro, extreme sports designed, very small camera. To be specific, it is the Sony HDR AS30VW, I believe. As well as the camera itself, we do have the headset mount, which can mount, um, let's take a look. We'll have to take a look into this. It's been so long since Christian and I spoke about it that I've actually forgotten the details behind this mount, but it is called the, um, ah, this is a handheld mount. Oh no, sorry. Oh yeah, this, sorry guys. This is the, ah oh, yeah, this is awesome. This is the handlebar mount. So for my um, vlogs where I'm on my bike and stuff, this is absolutely awesome. Sorry, I was completely just in, in a world of my own there. I didn't have a clue what it was. Um, yeah, this is a mount. You can see because of the circle bit and the, the bit for the camera. <laughs> Brilliant explanation, Tom. This is to mount the camera on my handlebars, which will make some awesome, awesome vlogs. I cannot wait. So um, we'll dig into that in a second, but first let's dig into this camera itself. Now, I'm not too sure how this opens. I haven't done tons of research on this camera, but it does look pretty damn sweet. I was kind of sort of saving it in, um, to treat myself, if that makes any sense at all. Pull out the camera from under there. Oh, cool, it pulls out like that. This is pretty cool packaging. So this camera, even though I knew it was small, it's still way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Untie it from the base. Okay, that is interesting. Wow, okay, cool. Sweet, there is a box of something. This is the camera, guys. Now, I know this is gonna be out of focus when I move it close, but I'll show you closer later on. This is the camera in its little uh, waterproof housing, which is awesome. You guys can see how small it is. It's just got a giant record button on the back. I don't actually know how it operates fully yet, but here it is. As you can see, absolutely awesome. I know that might be a bit out of focus, can't really see what I'm doing, but yes, excellent stuff. Tiny camera, feels really nice. I can't wait to give it a go. Dig into this box and see what we've got with it. So, we have all sorts of accessories. We have a little mounty thingy. So this looks like something to do with mounting on your tripod, which is cool, or something. There's all different attachments for different things. I'll have to look at the book. There is, take a look at this one, another little attachment that does something to something. This could be the helmet 
the sticky helmet grip pad. So you stick that on your helmet, as you can see it's curved, and then you can slide the camera into it. That's my guess at this moment in time. This is something similar, but a slightly different shape, which is cool. These are all sorts of different mounts, guys. I believe the camera can simply somehow slide in there. Does it slide in with this attachment? I believe something like, it does something like that anyway with these attachments. It's all pretty cool. Um, and of course, in here, it's cool that it includes all of these accessories. In here are the straps and things themselves. So we have what looks to be instructions because I believe you can buy the camera on its own, but this is the um, wearable mount kit. So it comes with all of the accessories, which is badass. So we have something here that looks like some kind of adapter. So this is something, not too sure at the moment. And this is something. Okay guys, this is this is really something. There's all small pieces and whatnot with this thing. I will definitely have to read the book. No idea what that is. In, oh wait, I haven't looked at this. This is the strap. So I believe this can go around your head or wherever you want it to go. Just think GoPro for all of this stuff, I reckon, guys. There's a smaller strap there. You can literally mount this camera anywhere. What's this? This is something as well. They give you so much stuff, guys. This is really cool. Of course, I probably won't even be using half of it, but it's awesome to have it. This will really increase my vlog capabilities. We have another camera mount here. This almost looks like a wrist mount or something, which is really cool. That is just awesome. And in the bottom here, we have the battery and the USB cable. Wow. And loads of instructions there and something here. What is this? I'm not gonna open that. So this is the camera taken out of its um, waterproof housing, guys. As you can see, it's so small. It's palm of your hand small. Um, it's a slightly different form factor to the GoPro. It's got a little screen on the side there. That's, of course, just for information. That's not to show you your video or anything. Big record button on the back, little lens on the front. And then on the underside is all of your connections underneath a handy little door right there, as you can see. So that is awesome looking. Um, and then in terms of the waterproof housing, it literally just opens up on the front like that. And what's cool about putting it in its housing, that's what makes it compatible with all of the accessories. So you put that in, close that up on there, and put the little flap over, and somehow, wait, how did, how did it do this? I was practicing, ah yes like, oh no, sugar. Ah, I did it, I did it, wow, cool. Okay, so there we have it in its waterproof housing, and then as you can see, gives you a tripod mount on the bottom, so of course that increases flexibility with mounting. And then I assume that you use this yellow uh, grippy thing on the bottom some kind of way to, of course you'd have to have a coin or something to screw that on, but this is what would make the camera compatible with the majority of the accessories, I believe, which is really cool. So, you know, your handlebar mount or whatever. And um, of course, this is, you can film in the rain or whatever you want to do. Um, the possibilities that I can achieve with this camera are totally endless, and I'm very pleased with it. But it's also, for vlogging, if it works out well, because I have no idea, I've been, haven't been able to find that much test footage or anything um, with this camera. But if it works out well, then using it totally naked for vlogging means that it is so easy to slip in your pocket and stuff or even using it with its little cover but as you can see such a nice camera I'm really really pleased with that that is so so cool so if you guys are wondering where the battery and SD card goes I was just wondering the same thing but you literally hang on a sec there is a knack to it of course you get used to you get used to all these um, all these small little details Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Sorry guys, it's a slide. There we go. Slide it like that, lift up. There is the battery that I've literally just inserted. So of course, I can remove the battery like so. And there is the small little battery. Not sure what the battery looks like. And you can see the micro SD card slot in there also. Right in there. So if I pop that battery back in and close that up. As you can see, putting the housing on it would also make all of this 
uh, a little more secure as well. So we'll probably use it with the housing on the majority of the time. Um, this is, it does record in 1080p. And as you can see, steady shot. So there is some kind of image stabilization, which is really handy for these sort of extreme sports cameras. But this thing, as you can see, guys, is absolutely tiny. It's, it's magnificent looking. Um, it's such a cool little camera. Okay. This is the first test of the little Sony camera. How's it going? I'm not sure what frame rate or anything I'm recording in. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Holding this at sort of a medium distance from my face. There is furthest distance. And there is close comfort range. But wow, this is crazy and such a small, tiny little thing. It's so, so cool. Um, yeah, I'm dying to plug this in the computer and seeing what it's like. Let's give a little look. Is it still recording? Yeah, still recording, and I guess it's all autofocus and whatnot. Can't see what I'm recording at all, of course I'll get used to it, but wow, this is awesome. There is my camera that I've been using to film the unboxing. Man, I need to clean the screen of my camera. I know this thing has low battery, so um, I don't know how long it'll record for, but let's get the USB cable whipped out and take a little look at what the footage looks like and what the audio sounds like because audio is a big thing as well in the vlogs let's see what the audio is like let's get the USB cable rocking I can't wait to see what this is like I'm going to stop recording um, right about now well guys I think that test clip said it all um, now of course I don't know if that's going to be the same file type as what this camera uses so you may see a little dip in quality because I've got my Final Cut preset set to obviously what this camera is filming in and I'm not sure what frame rate and stuff I used on that little one but I've got it plugged in and charging at the moment it is absolutely stunning I've just watched that clip through three or four times and I can't believe how good the uh, audio and video is from this. Guys, this is my new vlogging camera. Check out this little beast, I think it's stunning. So I've got it charging up now, um, of course, because I need to charge it up. But yeah, I'm so, so pleased, so really, really pleased. So. Christian, man, again, massive, massive, massive huge thank you, buddy. This is such a kind donation. I've got so many cool things to play with. Even if I don't touch any of the accessories ever, then um, I've got... Uh, oh, wait, hang on a second, guys. We've forgotten to unbox the bike mount. Let's take a look at that. I'm getting overexcited now, guys. I'm forgetting to film half of the video, and there's just so much stuff that he's given me, and I'm getting sort of overwhelmed with all this stuff. I don't know what any of it is, but... I'll have great fun figuring it all out. So, this will be absolutely great for me because um, of my cycling vlogs. Now, if I try and keep everything from this separate, let's put everything that I've already unboxed over there and I'll figure all that out separately because I'll most likely be using this um, bike mount. Oh, I'll definitely be using the bike mount in the vlogs. Get over there. Wow, there's just so much stuff here, guys. So much. I'm going to have to tidy all that up. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the bike mount. And as you can see, instructions are falling out. Well, guys, it's a couple of days later. And I'm just editing this video. You may be wondering why I cut. And I am using the Sony camera, by the way. I thought I might as well, just because, you know, it gives you a little bit more of a demonstration. You might be thinking, why have I cut the video? Well, unfortunately, the unboxing of the bike mount, and if you if you notice in the previous clip, I literally just checked the camera before unboxing. Uh, for some reason, my camera stopped recording. I'm not too sure whether my Fujifilm camera got jealous that there was a new kid on the block or whatever. But basically, the bike mount is a wonderfully simple little um, clamp that mounts on your handlebars, and it will be great for me with my cycling and the vlogs and whatnot. It'll open up a whole new world of possibilities. So I'm currently vlogging with this camera. It's going well, I'm getting used to it slowly. I've had a couple of mishaps, but I'll talk to you about them in the vlog. Um, it's been pretty funny, actually. Um, getting used to a camera that's totally different to anything I've used before is quite interesting, because obviously there's no screen and stuff, but I'm really enjoying myself using it. Of course, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to Christian. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Massive thank you to Christian and to everyone else that supports me. As you guys know, he donates so much. His support is absolutely amazing. And he has helped me so much. I just do not know where I would be without these, these donations now. It's really hard to imagine 
uh, how I would have been able to afford things like you know new cameras and stuff. So it's it's absolutely great. So huge thank you, buddy. I don't know what I can ever say or do to repay you. Um, and to everyone else, this has been a bonus video. We'll get back to normal next week. That should be absolutely great. Uh, of course, I'll update you on how the week off went in the vlog, which should be live on Tuesday. Of course, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in Monday's video.